What is up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video and this time we're going to be doing a little bit of commentary on our boy Phil's late night stream of WWE Champions. That's right, our boy Phil finally, finally decided to, um, to, to bring his passion, his two passions, begging and playing WWE Champions together. Merge them into one night stream, that's right. And it was so good for him, the endorphin rush was so good. He's going to do it again, um, again tonight. Now, what I'm going to do here is, of course, your boy Duty farmed some clips from last night's playthrough, and I got a lot to say on this. Um, the one thing that I'm going to say up front right now is I was always around 99.5, 99.9% .9 sure that down from the Raptor, that was Phil's account. I'm 100% now. 100%. There is no way that someone who casually plays this game as, as Phil tries to have you believe knows this much lore he is like he is like the fucking albert einstein of ww champions no fucking lie when i heard him when i was watching the stream last night and i heard him talk about ww champions i felt like i was in a quantum fucking physics uh lecture and albert einstein and uh neil degrasse tyson and uh who else uh who's the guy in the wheelchair the, the dude in the wheelchair i forgot his name it was a three of those merged together into one person and was just lecturing me about quantum mechanics. That's how I felt when I was listening to Phil. The knowledge and information that he fucking dropped yesterday was just a fucking amazing. It blew my mind. And usually Phil, you know, most of the time when he opens his mouth, he's lying. He wasn't lying here. He knew all the fucking lore and I was just like, I was just like a fucking kid in a candy shop listening to this guy be so fucking passionate about a Candy Crush mobile game. That, again, folks, let's not forget that he's just casually playing. He's just casually playing. All right, let's see what Phil's uh, doing in this gameplay. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for my first ever WWE Champion stream. That is right. I, Dark Side Phil, play wwe champions brother and tonight we're gonna play it together for the very first time for those who want some history this game is over seven years old over seven years this game has been out so it is one of the longer running mobile games at one point it was the most downloaded wwe mobile game but i don't know if it is anymore because now there's like 10 of them um <clears throat> and it's it's a matching game it's a, it's a gem matching game. It's nothing overly complicated. It gets more complicated with the character selection because certain characters have a crazy move that do crazy shit with the gems rather than just match them, um, which I'm probably going to end up having to explain to you guys tonight because there's a lot of like variations and shit in the game. And how First came out, I played a little bit more seriously. I don't play it as much anymore uh, for various different reasons. You know, it's not the best game ever or anything like that, but it's not terrible either. Like, I, it's, it's, a, it's a gem match game. You know what I mean? So... You're going to get varying levels of entertainment value out of it, depending on who you are and, you know, how much you want to play it and stuff like that. Did it work? Tests. And guess how you get to the contest, ladies and gentlemen. You ready for this? Spend money. I'm not kidding. The more money you spend, the higher level you get. I think you can unlock this by playing, but it takes a lot longer. But if you spend some money in the game, you actually can unlock this right away. So we're going to do that tonight. Like, make no bones about it. We're spending some money in WWE Champions tonight to get to the to the special event. Then we can get to the real loot of the game, which has the best superstars, the new superstars, as opposed to the generic loot that has more of the older superstars that you don't need. The bummer here is because the game's been out for seven years. A new account is so under advantaged. Like, there's certain characters you need that aren't good to use to fight but they actually will buff other characters. Like there's characters that'll say, oh, you have more energy to use right at the beginning of the fight. I have nothing, I have an empty account. I'll show you, here's what you start with in the game. You literally start with, Rick, get out of here. These three characters, John Cena, stupid big dog Roman Reigns that no one likes, and, and a generic rock. But I got this character because I joined the VIP club, which is I think $10 a month. Um, And the reason I did that is because number one, you get a better superstar to start. Uh, with King of Kings Triple H. I know King of Kings and I'm the king, right? But also, um, you get on um, you get all these bonuses for doing this. You get a ridiculous amount of bonuses for having the VIP club. You earn like double rewards, you unlock new tours and shit. It just makes sense to have it 
and it's 10 bucks a month so i just did it right away um <clears throat> By the way, I'm just going to say this up front. Any moron in the chat who says just log into your real account, you're, you know, is going to immediately be instantly banned. Um, I'm not going to play what play around with you tonight. I'm not going to respond to you. I'm just going to ban you. There, I just explained the reasons why I'll never show my real account on stream because I'm not a moron. If you don't understand that, well, you can kiss my ass. Okay. So, all right. So I got a lot to say here, folks. So, uh, let me just address that last point. I'm glad to see, uh, I'm glad to see old Phil, a little bit of old Phil still there. The the banning everyone for even remotely saying something funny or critical or what have you. This gentleman right here, whoever was on stream said, hey, it would be cool if you, you know, log into your account. Because I'm telling you, 99.9% .9 of his viewers know that he is down from the Raptors. And he's the only one that's still trying to fight this battle. He's still trying to fight this battle to, to this narrative that he's not down from the Raptors. Everyone knows he is. Everyone knows he is, Phil. Just fucking own it. You're you're playing it. You're playing it on your fucking stream, Phil. Right? You're spending money on this game. You know the lore. You know the fucking lore. And we're gonna watch this video. You're gonna hear Phil. It, it's like listening to fucking uh, uh, a lore master when it comes. It, it 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 to me. It felt like you. We had a, a developer. The head developer of the game, WW Champions, right, was on talking about it. That's how much fucking Phil knew. And what I want to say here is just like what the kids say, the young kids say, X for doubt. That's right, I'm pressing X for doubt here that Phil is a casual player. He's such a casual player, right, that he just admitted right now that he wastes $10 a month on this uh, thing, whatever it is. It's like a membership where they give you kind of extra bonuses. And he says, well, it's worth it, right? It's worth it. So... That tells me right there that on his down from the Raptors account, he has he's been spending ten dollars for the last seven years, right? So if you calculate that, that's eight hundred and forty dollars. He's spending eight hundred and forty dollars on a fucking mobile game that he says he plays it casually. That makes no sense, Phil. Make it make sense. The other thing that I want to fucking highlight here is on the side scrollers interview, when they asked Phil, how much did you spend on WW Champions? He said, I spent no more than $1,000. And he went to go see those videos, and he admitted to saying he spent no less than $1,000. So we, we're going to believe that Phil spent $840 just on this membership, and he only pulled, say, another 150 on Hogan Pools. Really, Phil? Is that what you're trying to get us to believe? Then why the fuck, if you're such a casual player, why would you waste $10 a month on a membership? Phil, again, it makes no fucking sense. You can't claim to be a casual player and drop this kind of cash. No one, no one fucking who plays a mobile game will say dropping a minimum of $840 on a mobile game is a casual player. Fuck no. Hell no. I used to love Fallout Shelter. It's probably the only mobile game that I've ever played. And I'm going to say I probably dropped maybe $50 on that game. Maybe Maybe 50 where I, I got, yeah, you know what? It was less than 50 because I did it twice. It was a $24 pack for some points because I wanted to do something. And so I spent $48. That's the most I ever spent on fucking Fallout Shelter. That is a casual fucking player. Spending a minimum of $840 is not a fucking casual player. And the other thing is that he, he so he's dropping $10 on his, a month on his primary account. He just said right here that he, that he, that he joined the membership for this secondary account and he's dropping ten dollars a month for a casual fucking playthrough where he's saying oh this is just a, a secondary account so that i can stream to my viewers ww champions right that's what he's telling you that's what he wants you to fucking believe the other fucking thing that just makes me want to press x for doubt is why do you need the pool hogan's well i if, if I'm a casual player and, and I want to show people how the game plays, I'll do the wrestling thing. I'll do the gym matching. That's what I would do. Phil didn't do that. Phil fucking decides to waste 100 bucks off the bat to do a fucking Hogan pool. That's what he did. Not do the actual wrestling match and kind of explain that information. He went and did the fucking pools. So again, that's what the fuck he's doing with his primary account. He's going in and fucking pulling Hogan's. That's what he's fucking doing. But yeah, he'll sit here and try to make you fucking believe for the last seven years that he doesn't play this game because he made a promise to his fucking wife. I'm sorry, Phil. It makes no sense. So, like the kids say, extra doubt. So anyway, this, um, playing this game, which is a lot more casual for me now, I don't take it seriously anymore. 
but playing this game is basically the one connection I still have with pro wrestling. I don't watch it at all anymore, so I can't say anything about AEW when I've never seen it, okay? It's wild on you! Maybe you can watch and learn and use all your free time to create an account, brother. Wow! Yeah, people are actually saying today, Duty, one of my trolls, Duty Streams, he got demonetized and literally uploaded no content. This is a man who within three days uploaded something like 13 to 16 videos about me. Day one, when he can't monetize any content, he uploaded zero videos about me, zero videos at all, even though today I did a special event interviewing a large YouTuber, he didn't care because he couldn't make money on it. Isn't that fucking interesting? Anyway, no, trust me. Uh, no, it's not interesting whatsoever. ever, but again, you have Phil here talking out of his ass because he refuses to do a monicum of research, just like, I mean, he does, he, he knows his WWE lore, I give him that. But again, whenever he's talking about anything else other than WWE Champions, he rarely knows what the fuck he's talking about. Uh, the reason why I didn't produce any content is the last two days I've been dealing with my channel being demonetized. I've been dealing with YouTube, uh, doing the appeal, and in the background, help, getting help from a few other folks. That's why I haven't been producing any fucking content, Phil. I watch your Keemstar bullshit. I got clips from it, which I'm going to be reacting to in a, in a bit. Uh, and, uh, and, of course, right here, your fucking mobile game addiction that I'm gonna, I'm watching now, and, of course, pointing out all of the fucking lies and hypocrisies from your game. And, by the way, yes, like I told everyone else, I'm gonna be pumping out the same amount of fucking content I pumped out before I got demonetized. Nothing changes, Phil. Nothing changes. The only thing that changes, I don't have to worry about, um, censorship when it comes to YouTube. I can say whatever the fuck I wanna fucking say, Phil. So uh, I don't need to censor out the word fuck anymore or tell you to go fuck off because I don't have to worry about monetization. So again, Phil, fuck off. The Super Chats are great. They're helping this channel tremendously this month, like tons. So thank you for that. <clears throat> let's let's look at the loot. Before we even play the game, we have to do what everyone does. You don't play the mobile game. You look at the fucking loot first, right? <clears throat> so first of all, to show you, I did want to just get a starter deal here. So I did actually buy... A starter pack? Where did it go? Oh, I already accepted it. I bought a starter pack for five bucks, which gave me three pulls. So I can do three pulls right now on regular loot if I want to. Here's the loot that's available to me. Because I have a brand new account, I don't have a lot that I can do. Uh, what the fuck? I can't... Oh, there it is. I had to drag and click. I was like, where is it going off here? Uh, <clears throat> Here's what's available to me because I have a low-end account. This is a special... A special thing just for newbies that's why it's low star all these are low star level i don't want to even pull from those that's a waste of time i want this this is the normal loot that you can do but if i actually level my account up this will get even better and have better characters available in it that's how it actually works but guess how you level your account up you spend money okay um <clears throat> This stuff I can't do yet. Six star shard. This is all shit that you earn later. Animation. What is it? Oh, we're getting a character. Three star, four star, five star. Six stars? What? I got a six star character on the first pull. And it's a Steiner brother. And that's a good character. He's pretty good. We got Rick Steiner right out of the gates. We got a six star Steiner right out of the gates. The first pull. That's a rare pull. That's not... Like a common shitty character, he's actually good. <laughs> the first pull, six full stars. Now, the highest you can get is six star gold, but not every loot has that. I think this loot only goes up to six star uh, silver. But that's like second tier, what we just got. We just got like a second tier pull on my first pull ever. First time ever playing the game, six star pull. Insane. Insane luck right there. Wow. Recruited. That's uh Rick Steiner. So, all right. So here we go. All right. So what I want to do is I want to highlight the passion that we have here. Man, Phil, that passion. If, if you were to exhibit that passion on your streams and your playthroughs and your game, um, you wouldn't be such a wash uh, a washed up content creator, Phil. Y you wouldn't. I mean, if we saw that enthusiasm for the games you play and your interaction with your streams and just the passion for pumping out good content you would be okay phil you wouldn't be in the situation that you that you were in um but you don't and it just makes me to believe that how can a man that plays this game so casually be so fucking excited over a sweaty jpeg why is a a six star silver steiner St uh rick steiner card 
make you so excited. Why, Phil? Like, I mean, and again, it, it goes to that dopamine fix that Phil needs. So if you doubt that he's not playing this shit 24 seven, especially living that miserable life that he leads where he's stuck in a fucking dusty office for eight, nine hours a day, streaming to, uh, uh, you know, streaming to a, a screen. And that's another thing I want to point out is Phil loves to fucking talk shit about me, about we have no lives and all we do is, uh, uh, make videos and stuff like that. What the fuck are you doing? You're sitting in a dusty ass room, right? A filthy, dusty ass room, uh, with, with just fucking loads of just fucking cat hair, throw up, jizz, God knows what, right? But, but yet your life is so cool. The, the man who, who lives, the man who lied for seven years to his wife about his gambling addiction, uh, gambling addiction, right? The, the, the man, the man who doesn't understand cable management. I mean, it, it's just fucking ridiculous when you hear Phil, um, you know, it, it's kind of like he, um, uh, what's the word when you, you know, when you, oh man, I can't, I can't think of the word, but, uh, you know, he, he, you. he seems to be talking, yes, yes me, that's right, big ups. You. Me. Yes, you. Thank you for subbing. Uh, it, it seems like he's talking about himself. Like, he, he's trying to, you know, he's trying to... Oh, man, what's the fucking word, man? I can't think of it. Project. There you go. Phil is projecting when he's talking about people making content, wasting their lives. Phil, what the fuck are you doing? Again, you're sitting there pulling sweaty Hogan's being super excited, you know. And then the thing that gets me is Phil's title for his daily rap video. The best day ever. That's the that's the best day ever. Not that he not the day that he went to Connecticut to see his mother and father because he hadn't seen him in a couple years. No, not that. Not the fucking day he got married, met his wife. Uh, no, that wasn't the best day ever. No, uh, or even Jasper, his son. That wasn't the best day ever when when he adopted his pet cat. No, that wasn't that wasn't it. Nope, sorry. The best day ever was talking to someone who fucking despises him, who is clearly trying to farm him, and playing WWE champions. He he managed to merge begging with WWE champions. That's some amazing shit there. But again, we are the losers that have nothing better to do. Oh my lord. Alright, let's keep going, folks. Third and final poll. There's absolutely no way this will be good. It's gonna be a, a token, watch. Nope, it's a four-star gold. Four-star gold. It is Hall of Fame, Scott Hall. Unfortunately, this is a terrible card or a terrible fighter, I should say. He's not very good. Uh, he's pretty crap. He's old. That's why. He's many, many years old. So, eh, kind of a crappy one. I know he looks good. Actually, he's rendered really well there, but he's pretty crappy, sadly. So it really doesn't help us at all. <clears throat> the Scots, the, or the Rick Steiner was a great pull for being the first time ever pulling loot. That was a significantly good pull. All right, how the fuck do I get back now? Oh, here we go. I'm so used to playing it on a phone. I don't really, I'm trying to figure out how to click. So as you can see, by far, uh, Rick Steiner. Take a look at this. 2,231, he's my highest ranked character. I didn't even level him up yet. Yeah, I didn't even touch him yet. And he's oh. already, was the movie the number 23? No, it was the number 43, wasn't it? <laughs> when was the number 23? And of course, the King Street. Continuing. One of the most epic things possible. All right. So here's what we can do. All right. Hide the in game chat. The only way I could hide the in game chat would be to drag the screen down slightly. I can do that. Um, that's the universal lobby where they're chatting, by the way. That's not, um, that's not anything important. So that's just a universe. But I could do this. I guess what I could do. I'm trying to think exactly how to do this. Hold on. We could do that. So now the in-game chat is hidden. Just so people don't troll, I guess. Why? Did people troll down there? I guess that maybe they were. I wasn't even looking. I don't I, I literally have never watched read that chat once. <laughs> In the seven fucking years I played this game, you don't read that. That's where like the real slow people are going in there and fucking typing the dun the dumbest shit they can't spell they you know like doo, 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 doo. what are you talking about why the fuck would i talk to you a 20 dollar pull for 11 coins or we could do 
a $100 pull for 69 coins. Who wants to pull 69 times in a row? I know who wants to pull 69 times in a row. Me! Because I can do it because you guys have been so goddamn supportive recently. I can do that. All right? So we're going to do that. However, in order to do that, I have to hide with the account. And the reason being, because when you click on that, it basically brings up the funding screen. And the funding screen shows fucking shit. And I'm like, well, I can't do that. I don't want you to see my fucking credit cards and shit or uh, our, our bank cards uh, and or my PayPal. So I basically uh, hid that. So you can't see. I'm going to have to always remember to do that. All right? So I'm going to do it. Let's uh, let me make sure I'm using the right thing here. This card. Yeah, this one. Oh, I almost did it the wrong one. Shit. Okay, we'll do it on this one. Here we go. We're doing it. <clears throat> We're doing it. All right, we did it. And here's what's going to happen. So I'm just going to show you in a second what you get when you do stuff like this. So, so here we are. It says payment successful. And what happens is they're going to send that stuff to your inbox in the game to do. But also... You get these rewards, these tiered rewards for spending money online. This is what I was trying to explain to people earlier on on my stream earlier today. If you play a game like this, you never want to spend money in the game. You want to spend it on their website because when you spend money on their website, they give you tons of bonuses. So because I just spent 100 bucks, look what they're going to do. You get all these extra rewards. You get the event coins. You get currency. You get evolve tokens. Like you get a ton of extra shit because you did it that way. You would never want to do it another way. So I'm going to hit claim all. And it's just going to send all that shit to the game. Okay. So now we're going to go back to the game. Play the game. Oh, wait. I got I got tiered. You also get these. You get milestone rewards. I spent $100. So I get a bonus of currency. Or not currency. This is event points in the game. Hopefully we'll unlock the event now. And there's more currency in the game. Just because we spent that money. Okay. So now we go to the game. Here we go. We got some memberships to shout out. Oh, not 6K in tips. That's wrong. That was a typo. It's six, it's 674. It's not 6674. <laughs> Getting a little ahead of myself there. Uh, I think it said you could skip $6 to speed up. No, what that was, that was a stupid thing. What they're going to do is give you cash and things. They're lying. They're like, oh, here's some money. To level your characters up. That's all that was. And I have more than enough money to level my characters up. So, HBK. A lot of people are saying HBK. All right, HBK it is. We got to level them up, though. Big HBK. Let's get them to 40 like we're supposed to. I think we have a ton of shards for him, too. Let's see. So, I'm trying to remember what his best moveset is. I believe it's this. And... This. And then break them, which is this. That's his best moveset. And we should definitely get this maxed if we can. Damn, that's a lot. Ah, fuck it. I'll do it. This is his best moveset regardless, so I, I need to have those as his highest level uh, things. There we go. Okay, this is going to be easier now. Matches are going to go a lot faster because he gets all his moves turn one. So he's going to be like completely destroying people. Seriously. He's not a good character overall, but right now for lower levels, he's insanely good. So let's just, let's just tear through people with HBK. Very good. Alrighty, folks. So well, that's all I clipped because the rest was just the same thing. Um, watching Phil play the game is was like watching Michelangelo paint the Sistine Chapel. That that's how I felt. I felt like I was watching a master at his craft. And I, I'm guessing that Phil. I guess we can give Phil the title, the Michelangelo of mobile games, uh, because the lore. I mean, you saw how fast the man was playing this game. How he was clicking, he knew exactly where everything was. He knew what exactly what every bonus was. 
He knew exactly, you know, if, if you pay six bucks, you can level up a little faster. He knew all of this shit. And I'm sorry, there is no fucking mobile game casual player who knows this fucking game the way Phil does. I'm sorry, it just doesn't make any fucking sense. So again, doubt, Phil, doubt. And I'm pretty sure that 674, that shit is gone. He probably played, he probably spent it on more Hogan's last night. Um, I think he ended up wasting like 250. That's another thing, Phil. Your toilet's still broken. Your toilet, your shower, Jasper still doesn't have his blood work. None of that shit, Phil. What the fuck's going on? And you want to sit here and pull fucking Hogan's? You know what you could do with $674? You could fix your toilet and get your cat his blood work, Phil. What the fuck? Really? Dude. Get your shit together. I know you're riding this little fucking high of, Oh, people love me and I'm making so much money. Oh, they, you know, people are throwing cash my way so people apparently love me. You know, Phil, that that's going to dry the fuck up eventually. Whether in a week, in a month, or in a year, it's going to be gone. And you still haven't learned. You're doing the same shit you did when you were a popular YouTube creator. You would get money and waste it. You're not saving any of this cash on anything. Why would you spend $250, right, on a game that you're just casually playing to just show people as kind of a mean game? You know what this is like, Phil? This is like playing um, Fall Guy or uh, what are the viral games that are out there? Uh, and, and spending fucking uh, $500 on, on outfits. It's a casual game. You're just playing it because it's a mean game, but yet still dropping like 500 bucks on clothing and, and optional shit. It, just, it makes no sense again, Phil. I'm sorry. If you just wanted to simply own the meme, you would have just played the game and did not need to spend any money on this. But again, it just shows once a fucking game that Phil is a liar. And he's just dropping all this fucking cash on a fucking mobile game. He hasn't fucking learned. And it's fine because we know in six months, uh, some emergency will come up. You know, uh, uh, the tax emergency or some bullshit. Or uh, my, 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 tax guy, my tax guy miscalculated what I owe, so now I owe thousands of dollars. And then, of course, people are going to say, well, what happened to the, all the money that you got during the dent streak? It went to bills. It's gone. It went to bills. No, it didn't go to fucking bills. It went to fucking panels. It went to that crappy little fucking uh, frame picture that you had back there. It, it went to um, uh, that SSD that you fucking wasted money on. All that shit. That, that's what it went on, Phil. Just fucking pointless garbage. I'm not going to say the PC because I think that you needed a PC. You, you should have gotten a PC fucking years ago. So I'm not going to say the, 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 the PC. But all that other peripheral bullshit that you fucking wasted money on... It's just fucking garbage. I can imagine. Oh my god, his Amazon fucking uh, order history must be ridiculous these last couple days. And it's just gonna get worse because if you hear him talk, it sounds like the gravy train is never gonna end. So, you know, Phil, Phil never fucking changes. That's for sure. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.